All right, the next thing I want to talk about is some of the couple other features in the system. Let me turn this off. The next part I'd like to talk about on the system is how you would connect the solar panels to the system. In this case, we've got a conduit that goes up to the roof, and down the conduit is our cable that brings the power from the solar panels. Going into this junction box, out of the junction box goes into the bottom of the box, and we actually have the charge controller on this system built into the unit. And so the uh, unit will take the output of the solar panels, put it into the charge controller, keep the batteries charged at the proper level, and um, uh, keep the batteries also conditioned so that they last a long time. All of this is built into this package, and this package, as I said, is called the Solaro Independence. The systems are usually sold um, in a basic configuration, which means you're going to get one 200 watt solar panel for the roof, um, you're going to get the uh, main control unit in an 1800 watt configuration and two of our 100 amp batteries with connecting cables for the batteries and some of the related hardware. And when you need to expand on that, we would bump up in size in terms of the size of the um, inverter as well as add more batteries, add more solar panels, and then add mounting brackets for the solar panels on the roof. The accessory electrical connection hardware like the conduit, the wire, and the related connectors like these boxes and things like that, you would get at your local electrical store. We are including all the uh, components it takes to make the system work. Um, you can also order the system if you don't want to go to the trouble of installing it yourself. You can install, uh, order a configured uh, system to where we'll actually mount it on a backboard plywood, either a 2 by 4 or a 4 by 4 piece of 3 quarter inch plywood with all of the um, accessory components pre-mounted to where when it gets to your project you just put it on the wall and have your electrician come out and hook it up to your solar panels and the batteries and then make the connection to your home. Okay, let's talk about the next system. The next system we're going to talk about is the Solaro Independence Pro. It does the same basic uh, job that the Solaro Independence does, but it has a few more features. A little bit more robust, designed for a little bit more heavy duty use, something where you might want to spend a little bit extra money and get the finest product that we offer. Uh, the Solaro Independence Pro comes in two models, a 3200 watt model and a 4000 watt model. Again, uh, when I, when I um, state the, um, the model, the 3200 watt or the 4000 watt, that means it's the unit's capacity to put out power. You never want to purchase a system and uh, size it for exactly the load that you're going to be using. It's better that you um, oversize the unit and um, it'll make the unit operate a little bit more efficiently. So this system has the same basic uh, functions and features. It derives its energy from the battery pack. The battery pack can be as large as you'd need. The basic system comes with two 100 watt, uh, pardon me, two 100 amp batteries that are 12 volts a piece. You can add as many of those as you'd like. On some of our higher end systems, we might use two volt, 1000 amp hour batteries it just depends on your particular situation and what you're looking to achieve and what your budget is. Um, this has the same feature that the Solaro Independence has. It can be connected to the grid if there's not enough sun to charge your batteries, as well as you can connect it to a generator. So uh, that works the same way that the Solaro Independence works in that there's a uh, cord that would come out of it or a hardwired connection to your generator or to the grid, you can throw a switch. In this case, I'm just going to plug it in. Um, and now we're receiving the power from the grid, goes into the unit, keeps the batteries charged uh, when we don't have sufficient sunlight. Or um, another important feature that you can use this system for is you can use it for a backup battery, standby. So you may have spotty power in your uh, neighborhood where you might lose power for a few hours um, routinely, a couple of times a month or even a day or two because the power company isn't reliable. You could purchase this system, not even have solar panels connected to your house, but have a, um, 
uh, bank of uh, batteries connected to the system, you'll never lose power. It'll be seamless. The power can go out in the rest of the neighborhood, but you're always going to have power for the critical loads in your home. But uh, getting back to the uh, system's functions and features, if you'll um, come down here to the display and uh, focus in on that, you'll be able to see the output of the display here. It shows right now that we're charging and uh, we're charging the battery. The battery is currently at 27.1 volts and uh, it's pretty well charged up because it's only putting in 3.7, 3.8 amps into it. And this unit can charge up as high as 18, 19, 20 amps if the batteries are deeply discharged. So it has a very powerful charging circuit to charge your batteries as well as it has a lot of other nice features. You can see the unit um, right now has AC uh, output of 120 volts and uh, 60 hertz. We're not using any power right now, so it's not displaying anything. And it shows again what my, uh, my battery voltage is. Let's go ahead and try the same test with the, the heater. Plug it into the output of this um, unit right here. We'll turn on our heater, full speed. That's a 1500 watt load. And we'll go ahead and uh, scroll through the um, menu here. And uh, this menu reads out a little bit differently. It shows right now that we're drawing 12.8 amps. So this load from this um, heater is drawing 12.8 amps. That display is not indicative of just the heater. It's also indicative of the charging uh, current required to keep the batteries charged. So. Uh, it's not the exact load that's being applied to the heater, it's also the load that's being applied to the batteries. But you can look at the screen anytime you'd like and see what the, uh, the load of the system is. Um, you can actually check on uh, each uh, circuit. This circuit system has two circuits in it, which is uh, important uh, to note. I'll go ahead and talk about that in just a minute. But um, let me show you what happens when we turn the heater down. We'll turn it down to the middle position and you can see the low drops way down to 9 amps. We'll turn it down to low heat output and the um, low drops down to around 8, a little bit more than 8 amps. And we'll turn it down to just a fan and um, we're about 3.3. Remember that 3. Point, most of that is going to charge the batteries. That feature is built into the unit. Um, this Solaro Independence Pro has a very, very important and for some people very useful function. It also has the capacity to output 240 volts. So a lot of um, off-grid homes have well pumps that operate on 220, 240 volts AC. So this unit has the ability to output either 120 or 2, 220 or 240. Nice feature. Uh, the Solaro Independence does not have that feature. The Solaro Independence Pro does have that feature. Um, now, currently we don't have the module connected to this for uh, the, the uh, charging of the batteries but there would be a module that would be mounted right here where you would run the um, solar panels from the roof, the output of those, into the charging control module. The charging control module then would keep the batteries charged. We have a couple of nice accessories that you can order with the system that can handle charging of the batteries as well as load distribution. So um, that's why we call this the Solaro Independence Pro because there's a lot of options that uh, you can order for it. And if you go to our website and go to uh, products and um, uh, scroll down, you'll find the off-grid uh, power inverter systems or uh, off-grid uh, power systems. And you can uh, go through that list and find the, the products. And then there'll be specification sheets for each of the systems, which I just described, as well as some of the options. So uh, if you have any questions or like to learn more about it, uh, go to visit our website or call our customer service uh, number and we'll be, like, be very happy to help you out. So thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.